Moving on. A few things. I have indeed chosen to um, take the plunge and put some masking fluid on the sun. Plunge sun. Poetry for Sunday morning. Um, it was just, it, it's, it's very much worth it in this situation, so we're not trying to use kind of a, yeah, a lot of fine painting around that area, as well as trying to keep it really clean and blended um, with different layers. That was going to be um, just a little too much. Here's, here's a basic example of what it, all these have been masked and then painted over with a little bit more color and then the mask after the masking fluid dries so you let it dry first and then you can paint over it and then you pick it up with um oh this little square kneaded eraser thing which uh, i'll show you at some point too um the, I know there's a lot of things that still need to happen for these hills. It's interesting to, to note how, how much, when we start getting um, a variety of the whole spectrum of values in here, how things shift around. Um, it's my hunch that this, this hill didn't look quite that light back when everything else was was really not painted so it's it's a uh, it's a good old sort of you don't know what something is unless you have something to compare it to kind of thing um, I am so that's just a general overthought um, right now I'm going to just come back in and do this 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 big front hill closest hill and I'm going to separate it from trying to do the tree at the same time. It'll all be dark enough such that I'm not really worried about a big transition between the hill and the tree. And, um, and I really want to sort of focus on being able to get this even darker, 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 dark, dark, dark. Did I mention the dark? So I am... Um, mixing a bunch of Quin Rose and Peacock Blue to get my sort of intense purple, slightly grayed out purple. And then I'm gonna bring in a decent more amount of, um, of indigo. You can tell that there's not a whole lot of visual difference value-wise between this one and this one. So first of all, I need to make sure that there's at least a little difference. I'll be adjusting things quite a bit, but are you enough paint? I'm talking to my paint. So it really, it is sort of a, a black, uh, a black violet. That's a nice, I like it. Um, I want to have a little bit of indication here of some sort of detail once again I sort of I think I talked about in contrast of detail and in another one I mean it's kind of little um, little little detail things is kind of interesting in that it's it's really <laughs> it's really kind of tricky to to do it in a way that's actually random look what i just did i mean i see this bump 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 those are pretty evenly spaced um us humans sort of for some reason i don't know there's like a subconscious thing or um but be aware of that and 
the, the point being that in nature it's, it's not going to be uniform, it's going to be much more random. But random is, can be tough to just sort of improvise. I come back up here and drop in a little bit of a little bit more dark dark. <laughs> I was thinking of his color. Dark dark. Here. Maybe especially down here. Um, you can see what I've done is I've unintentionally created some backgrounds so I'm not sure I'm, I was hoping that that was going to be the same moisture enough such that it wouldn't sort of push things away push some of the paint away um, and now I have a decision to make should I let it stay like that? Or should I try to come back in and um, accept that I sort of didn't uh, didn't take into account and I'm as you can tell that <laughs> as you may have noticed, my choice is that I'm going to um, come back in and, and kind of deal with this whole shape. But it's kind of cool. It's kind of happening in a way that's making it um, a little a little broken up a little bit so it's not all just one. And it's having, it, yeah, I, I, I do, I like it. He said, trying to convince himself. No, I do. The um, bringing in a little bit of water that's sort of giving it a little bit of non-uniform feel to it. bit more dark down in this corner too. So yeah, interesting. Cool. That's uh, a, a good example of trying to um, to just, uh, you know, I, obviously I've done this long enough to have an idea of what might happen if I change things on the fly. But um, Good example of sort of working with the watercolor and instead of getting angry at what it doesn't do, figure out what it does want to do. Let's see if you can't make that work as a team. <laughs> I 
I am going to um, just let that dry and then be back for more.